Matt, let's transition to you. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you're seeing with our clients in terms of their commercialization journey? Yeah, thanks, Gwen. Um, I agree. The commercialization readiness journey is a, is a complex one for anybody. Um, but I'd say that there are three key success factors that really stand out for me um, that cell and gene therapy organizations should be thinking about as they prepare for commercialization. And the first of these is it's critical to have good enterprise alignment across the organization on the commercialization strategy. This means that leaders need to set and communicate clear priorities about the commercialization journey. And at the same time, there have to be fast and simple feedback mechanisms in place to be able to convey information uh, clearly and swiftly back to leaders so that they can make an informed decisions as needed. All too often, we see organizations fail to make that investment in organizational alignment around the strategy up front, which tends to result in a lot of chaos and uh, you know, just inefficient working in general, um, which can be really challenging for the commercialization journey. I wanna um, click into something a little bit deeper here that you're talking about, and then that is that strategy piece. Um, so often our clients engage us uh, and want to start at the operating model. And um, a lot of times we have to take a step back with them and help them understand the importance of that strategy and, and being able to articulate to their people, you know, what's their product pipeline strategy? Uh, do they want to set up their organization globally or regionally in terms of its process technology and organization? And without that, you use the word chaos. I think that's a really good descriptor because if the art strategy hasn't been articulated up front, oftentimes the business functions are articulating their own strategy. And when there are cross-functional processes that need to be implemented, that turns into what you're describing as the chaos. Yeah, ab absolutely. You know, um, I, I totally agree. It's important to have a core strategy in place that's really anchored in a target operating model because without it, to your point, you're just gonna be setting yourself up for a lot of inefficiency and a lot of frustration in the organization. 